good morning. Reed here, back at Orchestra Farm, checking some things out. This lovely little apple that I've staked up so it doesn't get run over by the edge of the greenhouse. Likely this apple right there is staked up and it's got some nice new leaves coming. Hopefully it'll take off. Here, let's check out this one quick before we get into today. This branch is below the graft, which means that it could be rootstock potential for the uh, original kind of tree. Uh, I don't actually recall what kind of tree that is. I think it might be a pink flesh. Oh snap, this apple tree is looking nasty. I better get some water on that, huh? But if I'm honest about it, if I look base, you can see that it's been hard hit on its trunk. And uh, I was surprised that it even leafed out this year. But the fact that there's still some green on the leaves is curious and interesting. Anyway, go grab my water bucket. Someone had put a, uh, a tarp right up against its trunk as a form of uh, kind of like protecting it as a mulch thing. And I didn't notice it until way too late. And then I was like, oh, damn like the nicest apple tree we have here so you know if you're gonna work with others it's good to make sure you uh, have trained them properly and don't just give them carte blanche to uh, do things without triple checking that it's been done right lessons learned along the journey let's see if a little water will help it out it was looking great just uh, know, a few days ago so, some pretty fast turnaround, and it's uh, terrible. And if I look over here, we, yeah, it looks totally terrible too. So, not sure on that one what exactly happened, but I know that I didn't overly protect its base. And so sometimes you gotta take extra protection and watch what helpers are doing and that's just life sometimes but <clears throat> it's nice to be back doing all the things I had a great visit with my brother and his family and saw the phosphorescence took my brother out to see that for a night that was just delightful if you've never seen that or know what that is, there's uh, these beautiful tiny creatures that live in the waters up here. And at night, they glow. And so as you're paddling around, you can totally see them glowing. It's pretty magical. Positive note here, look at all these raspberries that are popping. Raspberry season is here. Hopefully I'm going to get my family over today to pick a bunch of the hundred ones right here. The golden raspberries. I want to thank uh, Robin and Red, who lived at my last residency and planted them. I took some cuttings and some of them succeeded. Pretty great. One thing I really like about berries is uh, all their extra color. It's all kinds of, uh, well, my words are really feeling my brain right now. Another thing I noticed from having company for that long, hosting is, I'm actually kind of tired. You know, it's the heat of the summer, we finally got it happening here. And I'm definitely like, oh yeah. The heat can sometimes be a little bit draining. Here, let's check this out. The Josta berries. They're more delicious, in my opinion, than currants. And this bush is doing particularly well. I really need to get it on the back side there with my hedge trimmer and just push that on Nuka Rose in the block. As they will overpower everything. But, how are you doing? Are you finding enough time to rest in your life? Are you making space for recuperation 
when I got home after my work day yesterday, my family was like, we're going to the sea, and we're going to take our dinner there, which is lovely. And I have a little video I'll probably put up somewhere in the near future of the light bouncing off the water and into the trees. Which is like a twofold thing. Twofold in the way of like it's gorgeous and beautiful, but then you're actually getting double sun time. And that's right, it's not regular sun, you're getting double the sun. And after a day of working in the sun, I was a bit like, I'm over this right now, let's get home. In fact, before I get off to my day right now, let's grab a little bit of chocolate mint here. But yeah. I was also last night, I did a little bit of writing related to this recording session I've got coming up next month, August, it's uh, 2023 still. Working title for the project is Delta of Becoming. You get like the delta where the river meets the sea or the ocean, where the land is transitioning from land to marshes, the brackishness of the water, the profundity of life. We're really having fun with that. And calling out a bunch of musicians. So if you're watching this and you're a musician in my local area, and you're interested in uh, playing what you don't know, be in contact. With that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And have too much fun.